Hi, welcome. This is Akima Netho, and today I shall be taking you through the second part of the um, tutorial where I handle um, the admin site. Now, as you have been told earlier on, the first thing you will notice, uh, or the first thing we are going to touch here, it's uh, the uh, the um, admin area, and this is the folder structure for the admin area. Now we have an index page. We have a login page, we have admin area, manage user, manage complaint and logout. Now I'm going to take this file one after the other. So I want you to follow me. And the next thing you need to do is to go straight to your is, is to go straight to your file editor. Uh, sorry, text editor. Now as we all know that for this tutorial I've been using Sublime Text for it. Now what you need to do to save our time is to go to your folder which you already have before and uh, Go to your folder, the one we copied under hdocs, which is uh, this under ZAMP, hdocs, then uh, check lane, lane. So uh, look for the um, login file. Now try to drag it inside your sublime text. Once you drag, copy everything you have in it. Open a new file, then paste. You can close the existing file. Then what you need to do is to save. Now. You can save this is view user. View user. View users dot php. Now, once you do that, you need to do a little bit of clearing. So, um, just clear from here down here. Done. So, all what you need to do is just to save this. Okay. Now, once you save it, uh, you can now proceed. Now, I'm trying to undo, uh, and then you, can, you need to clear this uh, PHP something, whatever, because we are no longer in need of it again. Then, once you clear that, once you clear that, you can go to the top again. For now, we need to remove this section at the top here. Now, once you do that, uh, you can change this title to, uh, let's say, admin area um view okay user management session okay then um what else okay let's change the menus we have here uh user page no no let's okay this is yeah home but you need to remove this okay now the register let's change this to um view users okay let's place let's say um view orders now the next one we can say um view complaints then you all remember that we have uh, to log out because we are going to make these uh, to log out itself okay so you can make this um, to link to nothing for now then uh, since we are on the view or uh, users you can uh, just copy all this paste here okay and um, you know complete this now let's try to check what we have on the on our file uh, sorry now the next for you to view your your scripts what you need to do is to launch your uh, ZAMP. Now the ZAMP, I've already explained what ZAMP is. It's uh, the uh, software that serves as your local server. Why are we using a local server? PHP files are not like HTML which can be viewed because they are client side. Now I want to talk about a server side scripting language like PHP one needs a local server to view them because they are scripts which do not actually shows on the home page but their actions can be felt as in they are a controller they control the 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 you know the client side now you start the apache you start the mysql so once you click on these two it's going to run itself conveniently so once you are through once this gives you green you can proceed now to test if you are on the way just launch your uh, web browser the preferred one i use to view this into in this tutorial it's uh, google chrome 
So what you need to do is so uh, local host. Um, then our folder here is lame. Now let's try our okay view users of PHP. Let's see. Okay, good. Now that means we are set or oh, we are good to go here. Now we have home view users, view orders, complaint, and logout. Now, as we all see this screen, it's a uh, very very clean and very plain. So what we need to do right now is to continue to code. Now let's dive in back to straight to what we have here. Now don't forget that it is inside the container div. We already opened here. That's where we are going to paste. Now what you need to do is to open two divs. Inside the open div, open another div. Now what we need next is table. We are going to use a table since we are trying to view the uh, the users. Now why are we trying to view the users? There's a reason for us viewing the users. Now as the admin, one must be able to uh, you know control uh now let me tell one of the reasons why we make use of tables or why i'm going to make use of table this tutorial now let's just go straight to our database our database here can be accessed through localhost slash php my uh, php my admin now it is not quite good and not okay for you accessing your database straight from your um raw a database file which is from your local base um from your php my admin why now uh the the advantage of you using php is to call for is to call for the records there's a way you can bring uh the records we have in your database out so as now the reason why this is very uh very very uh the reason why this is not good as in for you accessing your database from here the reason is that you might click on something that you might not be aware of and which might disrupt your whole total program. So I'm at, uh, my, my home best option, what you can do is to make sure you write another admin area that which is what we are doing right now where you can track the users. Now this page is going to relate just like what we have here. Just like the diagram we have here. Just like this. Now this is our database. It is very... Uh, volatile for you accessing your database through PHP by admin all the time. What you need to do is to first create a collection of PHP file. Now this serves as a connector that connects you to the database straightforward. Then the second thing here is that you need to create some folders. That means a folder admin. That means there must be a separate place for admin in your, uh, you know, in your, uh, uh, in your file. That means that manages all the users complaints and requests now that's what we're about doing here so let's continue now what we need to do here right now is that once you've opened the table now table now the next thing you know under uh if you want to, if you want to read more about tables you can go to w3 schools and read more so what we need to do here it's um once you open the table now we need t head now this is t head that means the head of the table now inside the table, uh, we need to open some table rows and we need to close the table row. Now on that table rows we have table heading th. Okay, good. Now you can copy this and paste. We need five, two, three, four, and five. Now remember to save your um, work. Now once you do these um. um Okay, let's uh, okay. After this, then I will insert some uh, PHP code. Then before we go on, let's uh, insert some uh, class to this. Now the class here is gonna be uh, table. Sorry, table. Okay, let me say table responsive. It should work. Table responsive. Table responsive. Okay. Then the next thing here it's uh, the class we're going to use here. It's um, oh sorry. Okay. I think yeah. Let's okay. Table sc uh, scroll. Okay. Now table. Let me add a class to this table. Table. Table 
go that Fable bordered okay um table over mm, i'm not sure okay let's try it table over and table uh, strict that means uh i want it uh, you know to have stripes or true then let me add the style now i want to make the layout fixed good now once this is done you can move straight to the t head then the C R A. okay now let's fill in some we need the id here we need a name here name okay use a name um email password okay now that means we have done the head here now um this is where the php comes in so um you need to uh, understand um, that after this we need to um, insert some other things i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming 